All right, so we're getting ready for spring today. We're gonna change oil in the mow truck and we're gonna go get the trailer from storage and start going through things. There's still some stuff in there that needs to be cleaned out and I wanna rearrange some things. So we're gonna try to get as much of that done as we can today. can't see too well we got all kinds of stuff in here stuff's not where it's supposed to be it's just a mess in here so we are gonna get everything back to where it's supposed to be and get ready to mow I don't think we're gonna be mowing anytime too soon maybe maybe three weeks two weeks at most or at least but we're gonna get her cleaned up and get her ready to go So I got a few things in mind I want to change. I'm going to leave the string there and the trimmer racks there. I like those being on the back, real easy to get to. Um, but I'm going to move this basket. It's just got some oils and stuff like that. And those hooks I have for the chainsaw and the hedge trimmer. I'm going to move the stuff that's in the basket on the right side. I'm going to build some kind of basket over there. And then I'm going to put the hooks on the left side. And that's where the chainsaw and the hedge trimmer are going to hang. And then I keep tools and earmuffs and gloves and stuff up there on the shelf. Um, and then on this side, I'm going to put a sprayer up there, I think. I got my license this year, so I will need that from time to time while I'm out. And then I'm going to leave the blowers there. Same thing, I like those being on the back. You can get to them real easy. So as for now, that's, that's what I plan on changing. I don't use this trailer for everything. I only use this trailer for mowing, so I don't really need to jam pack it with stuff whenever I'm not going to use all that stuff. I only mow with this trailer, so whenever I go do cleanups or you know whatever else, landscape jobs, I take my other trailers and my other trucks or my other trucks. So um, the things that we need for mowing and the you know occasional jobs may come up where you may need a chainsaw or a hedge trimmer. That's why I keep those in here. Um, but everything else is really just for mowing. So. Those do not want to go in there. All right, but what I'm doing here 
is ignore these holes that's from a different project where this board came from but um, what I'm doing here is putting self tapping screws you can see I got a chalk line running down here but I'm putting self tapping screws into the metal studs of the trailer so when you shake this board that the hedge trimmer and the chainsaw are going to be on it shakes the whole trailer so these are not going anywhere and I'll put another board over here same thing you can see the chalk line you can see it there and you can see it a little bit it's faint there but we did that last fall when we bought the trailer we chalk lined every metal stud in the trailer so whenever we got to this point we knew where they were so um, put the essential stuff in here I don't know if you saw our other video but we put the essential stuff in here right when we bought the trailer but we knew that it was going to get changed up and it's getting changed up so this is all we're using to hang up the chainsaw and the hedge trimmer it's just thread it in you drill a hole into the board and you thread them in there Couple steps closer to where we want to be, guys. We got the couple of racks moved there. Put the ladder there. We were thinking maybe to put the shovel and rake there, but it wasn't going to work because of that fender down there. So we ended up putting the shovel and the rake over there, and we moved the hedge trimmer and chainsaw over there. I might end up switching those, but that's going to work for now. And I put a couple of dividers here up on the shelf. I put one right here and I put one right here so got things separated a little bit a little bit closer to where we want to be like I said I think we're gonna put the sprayer up there above that fuel door that thing's sweet if you don't know what that is when you go to the gas station you don't have to take your mowers out you can put the nozzle through that white door and fill up your mowers without opening the back door so that's pretty cool but yeah like I said one step closer to where we want to be so we're gonna get the mowers back in here and that is all for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more landscape and lawn care related content.